All right, Coach, Notre Dame College, uh, I think there was 1,200 students the last time I heard here. What is it? Yeah, that's, uh, th that's with everybody. That's online students, graduate students, part-time students, the whole, the whole deal. We we'll probably have about 850 to 900 full-time people, and, and three years ago it was probably around 600. So it's not a very big school as far as student-wise, but that's where we're at right about now. Okay, yeah. you were a Buckeye, you wrestled, you were a Maple yeah. Heights guy, Buckeye, yeah. then a Kent State uh, Golden Flash yeah. for head assistant under Ron Gray, then head coach for, yeah. I think, I was, nine years? Yep, I was there and for then, a total of 23 years. Then you're Aurora. Yeah, I was I just volunteer. I was volunteering at Aurora with Dick Bliss, who's a very good friend of mine, for three years because I was retired. I actually retired officially uh, in October of 2003. We had, we had won the MAC team. Well, we, we had won, we had tied Central for the dual meet championship. We didn't win the tournament that year. I was on the team. Yeah, yeah you were on the team, so you would know. <laughs> we, we tied them because uh, they lost. To, them and Northern. Yeah, they lost to Northern, and we beat Northern, so we tied them, and that was really nice, and then I retired. So then for three years, the only thing I did was volunteer at a local high school, Aurora. And then um, I was sitting in a coffee shop uh, near my house in Hudson, and I read a line in the paper that, uh, Notre Dame College, which I didn't even know was in Cleveland, to be honest with you, uh, was starting a wrestling team, and I thought, wow, that's kind of interesting. So I, I made a phone call, and the person on the other end, who I didn't know who it was, um, was some secretary or something, said that, yeah, well, you know, put a resume together, you know. I mean, I, they didn't know me, and I didn't know them, and so what I did was I just inquired, and I, I put, you know, my resume got it out of mothballs, because, you know, I hadn't really <laughs> applied for a job since, like, a 1980. So I came and I interviewed, and what I did was, I, I thought, well, you know, if they really want to start a wrestling team, I will put down every single thing I could possibly think of that needs to be done the right way, in, in my mind, to have a success, uh, successful team right from the get-go, but it would be very, very expensive. because So I wrote everything down, and, I, and I, when I went to the interview, I said, you know... Travel not, budget, not, hotels, scholarships, hotels... Head, headgear, e e e Everything. Everything you could possibly think of that I could possibly think of after being in wrestling for, you know, 45 years. And I went to the interview, and I, never thinking that they would say yes to everything because it would just be too ridiculous. But I was uh, pleasantly surprised during the interview process from, the, from, from Dr. Roth on down, president of Notre Dame College, Dr. Roth, uh, that they said... Yes, this is what we want, and so we started. And this this wrestling room right here was a basement, and it was just a concrete slab floor with uh, some pillars. And they said, "Well, we'll make this into a room." So then they they went about and they put it together really nice. I I told them how to make the floor and you know all the different things about how to lay the mats down and everything. We ordered the mats, and so from the very get go, uh, they did everything I thought that was necessary to start a program and, and in the first year I think we had 55 kids come out and um, you know we had one All-American we finished uh, 20th in the NEI tournament the second year we had a national champ and a runner-up and we finished 13th in the country in the NEI then last year uh, we really um, uh, blossomed and finished fifth with five All-Americans and a uh, national champ and we finished fifth without two of our best guys. One of them was our defending national champion, and he was not able to participate. And one other guy was probably one of the better guys in the, in the whole NAI, and he didn't participate either. So we, we, we probably would have scored more points because we had a defending national champ that didn't wrestle, and another guy who would have scored points. We, we could have finished second or third. But we finished fifth, which we were real proud of, and all the five guys that finished fifth were back which are currently on the team So that right makes now. you rank the second team? That, that moves, moved us up to second because we had more points coming back than virtually anybody except for Southern Oregon. And Southern Oregon's got a heck of a team. I mean, they got a heck of a team. They, they uh, uh, were uh, the recipient of, you know, Oregon Drop Wrestling, and they picked up some of their people, and they, the guy's a great recruiter. Uh, coach Ritchie, he's a, he's a really good recruiter, and uh, he's a great coach. And they, they, got a really, they have a really nice club. Would you say the moral of the story, Coach Romano, is to answer personal ads? Mm-hmm. <laughs> answer, yeah, answer personal ads, right, yeah, I just, I, I, you know, just, you know, shot in the dark, and, and um, there was a really uh, thorough interview process, I think I went through like three different interviews with everybody from, like I said, Dr. Roth to Sue uh, Levichek, our AD, who's a great AD, she's the best AD I've worked for, and I've worked for a lot of different people, and she's the best, she's honest, she's tough, and she's straightforward, and uh, she's a great person to work for, I can't say enough about her.